Hello Year 10, uh, more poetry today. Before we get on to what we're actually doing for the lesson, I'd like you to uh, write down the names of any poems from your study this term that explore how love can be disappointing. For at least one of these poems, write down any quotations you can remember. Five minutes for that. Our learning objective today is to practice part B of the GCSE poetry question. So the title therefore is poetry question part B. Uh, what you need for today's lesson is slightly different. Um, your notes on the poems we have studied, so your exercise book with all the notes in. Any other materials you've made, flashcards, remember all the, all the quotes that we've done with every les lesson and put onto flashcards, and a pen. Now remember, uh, last lesson we did part A, there's two parts to the poetry question, part A and part B in the GCSE. Part A is where you look at one poem that you've studied, one that you've never seen before, and you do a, compa a comparison between the two. Part B um, is where they say, talk about another poem in the collection that, that is linked to whatever theme they've chosen. So it's entirely from memory. So you've got to think of one of the poems that we've studied to answer the question. So poetry is part of the second exact, this is, the, this is how it fits into the whole GCSE. Um, I want you to uh, write this all down as well. Poetry is part of the second exam paper you will sit for English literature. Section A of poetry works in the same way as section A in paper one and inspector calls. Part A is a comparison of a known text, in this case a known poem, with an unseen text, an unseen poem. And part B, write about another moment poem from text, from memory for 30 minutes, 20 marks. So you've just got to write about it for half an hour. This will mean you'd have to write from memory about a poem. Examiners would expect you to have around four to six quotations in your answer for you to write approximately one and a half sides of A4. So it's not a lot. The question will provide a theme and you can choose which poem you pick. The question they ask you should fit with at least five of the 15 poems studied to make it fair to you. So copy that information down into your books. Possible part B questions, five minutes. Explore in detail one other poem from the anthology which expresses or presents. That's how it'll be. So you'll have done the comparison and then part B will say something like, explore in detail one other poem from the anthology which expresses or presents X something. So X could be love is disappointing. It could be passion. It could be bitterness towards another person. It could be about feeling isolated. Um, it could cover the themes of loss, pain, desire, longing, nature, distance, isolation, confrontation, reflection, recovery, time and change. Um, you don't need to write that down. Just read it and go on to the next slide. Now, what I want you to do here is uh, listen very carefully. At the top there, it says explore in detail one other poem from the anthology which is just a collection, which expresses or presents X. And X could be any one of these things on the left here. So you've got to uh, find a poem from memory now that expresses love as disappointing. A poem from memory that's, that uh, expresses passion. A poem from memory that expresses bitterness towards another person. A poem that's, that um, presents feeling isolated. So... Uh, you can use your notes to help you if you can't do it from memory, but try and do it from memory. Um, and uh, so write a list of titles of poems, of which poems you could mention for each of your of these categories. Use your notes on the poems to help you. There's 10 minutes for that. So just use your notes if you can't do it from memory, Year 10. Now here's the process that we go through when we look at um, part the part B question. Imagine the exam question was this. Explore in detail one other poem from your anthology which expresses doubt or uncertainty in relationships. Um, what about in Paris with you's one, isn't it? You know, there's, there's a few. So here we are, there's four steps. Look, consider which poem you would pick. Write down any down that come to mind. So you might have, you know, two or three. Think through the poems in order to make sure you're not missing a good one. And then when you've got the few down that link to that theme, decide on which one you're going to talk about. And then write down any quotations that come to mind. And then summarise your argument. How does this poem present the theme of the question? What is the perspective of the speaker? Here 
here's a slide with the, the AO1 and AO2, that's the assessment objective, that's what the markers use to give you your marks. So uh, in response to that question, explore in detail one other poem from the anthology which expresses doubt or uncertainty in relationships. Uh, poems might include Emily Bronte's Love and Friendship or Helen Maria Williams' A Song. Um, I won't read out those assessment objectives to you. Have a read through them. Don't worry too much about it. On the left there, you've got the four steps that we're going to learn over the next year, which are um, how it is that you answer this part B. So just have a read of that slide. Now you're going to write a, an opening paragraph uh, to the, in answer to the question. And this is how it might look. One poem which expresses uncertainty in a relationship is A Song by Helen Marie and Williams. In A Song, the uncertainty is not about whether this is the right relationship, but coping with the uncertainty of being apart from the lover and doubting their safety while they travel from shore to shore. That's an opening um, paragraph in response to the question that we've been discussing. That's how it would look. And then you go into analysis, obviously make sure you keep it relevant to the question. So a song follows the typical A, B, A, B rhythm of a sea shanty, you know, ooh, up she rises, you know, those old uh, sea shanties, which reflects the seaside setting of the poem. The speaker awaits on land, worrying about when the lover will return. So Williams writes that she would be happy with basic things, a lowly cot, a frugal meal, while her lover is looking for riches to obtain. This contrast highlights our confusion as she asks rhetorical questions. Why I wonder riches to obtain when love is all I prize? The speaker is shown to be uncertain about why the lover doesn't understand that she values his presence over the material goods he has gone in search of. So that would be your second paragraph, which is analytical. Right, here we are, year 10. Here's the piece that I want you to do and to uh, upload to class charts and uh, send it to me for me to look at. Explore in detail one other poem from your anthology which expresses doubt or uncertainty in relationships. This is a question we've been working on all the way through the lesson. So I want you to write another paragraph um, for me, please. Uh, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes, but uh, a paragraph um, about a poem which expresses doubt or uncertainty in relationships. And you can use your notes. So there's really no excuses for nobody, uh, for anybody not doing this. So, um, yes, use your notes, send me the results and I'll look forward to receiving that. Well done. Thank you, Year 10. See you next time.